Software documentation refers to the written materials that provide information about a software product, including its design, development, and usage. It can take many forms, including user manuals, API references, design documents, and help guides. To developers, it provides information about the code they are writing, whereas to users, it provides instructions for using the program. Documents like these help developers and stakeholders better understand the software's technical aspects and enhance team collaboration. In this video, we will demonstrate the step-by-step -step process of creating software documentation using the Document 360 tool. Creating software documentation using Document 360 is super simple. It comes with two types of editors to create software documentation. Markdown Editor and WYSIWYG which stands for what you see is what you get. While the Markdown Editor is efficient and structured writing by keeping colors and styles in check. On the other hand, WYSIWYG as the name suggests will provide you with the same style and format as you see. So without any further ado, let's get into the steps to create SW documentation. As I am currently working on streaming services, providing company articles regarding how-tos, troubleshooting plans, and pricing are the most searched ones. Here, we'll use the Markdown Editor for creating software on documentation to see how it works. Firstly, what I need to do is open the tool and click on this existing project, or I can also create a new one as well. Now click on the documentation button on the left toolbar to create a new category or to start working on the existing ones. As I want to create an introductory document regarding the company, I'm going to create a new category and name it Introduction. I can either choose a folder, index, or page format for the category. As the category creation is done, now let's get started with creating a new document under this category by clicking on the Add button. Apart from creating an article, it also allows me to import or add another subcategory. Now to get started with my documentation, first I need to enter a title and choose among the options of a new article from the template, copy existing, and link existing. Well, I'm going with the option of a new article and naming it Aqua and its features. After that, a split screen workspace with all the features needed to manage an article appears on the screen. All I need to do is type and apply markdown syntax on the left side of the screen and on the right side, I can see the outcome. The Markdown shortcut option helped me a lot in making the necessary customization. Adding headings or subheadings of different sizes, making my words bold, adding bullet points to making sentences italic, anything can be done with this tool. Moreover, I can also insert images and videos relevant to the article if necessary. Just by using my keyboard, I can do almost everything related to documentation or I can also edit and customize my writing from the toolbar. Apart from this, it allowed me a preview of the article for a better understanding of how my article will look like. I can also see the status of whether I have kept my article as a draft, in review, or have already published it. One of the interesting facts about this is, even after publishing the article, I can still make necessary edits. Apart from that, I can save the document as a template as well. So that was all about creating software documentation with Document360. Thanks for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it within your colleagues and business network and comment below to let us know your thoughts. Subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.